Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna continue our game and we will add a chat box for our game for the players in the lobby and for the system. For example, if someone joined the lobby, if someone left the lobby, and so on. And let's get started. Let's start by the UI that we have in the messaging system, which is an input field for typing the message, a scroll view for our messages container and that's it and let's get started let's start by adding a script let's call it chat manager for our chat box and let's open this up so the first thing we need to have is three references for our messages container for our message template and for our input for the message content so let's start doing that by using text mesh pro and here let's get those two references the first one is private uh, text mesh pro input field so let's go with input field and let's call it a message input field the next thing we need is serialize field for our message template so let's call it private uh, text mesh pro uh, message template and the third is our messages container and it will be a private game object messages container and that's it for our references let's start by creating our messaging system so the first thing is we need whenever we press enter the input field will be activated and you can type whatever message you want and the next time you press enter it will send the message and close the input field okay. so in the update method let's start by saying if input dot get key down for the key code dot return so let's say toggle chat box that should be a method and here we go let's regenerate this uh, method and let's implement it so the first thing we need here is let's check if the um, box is if the input field is active so if message input field dot game object dot active self we need to do some stuff else we need to do other stuff so if it is active we need to check if there is a, a content in that input field we can do that by saying string dot is null or empty for the messages input field dot text so if it is not empty or null we should do some stuff which is let's say lobby server dot instance dot current lobby dot send send chat string and let's give it the message input field dot text and that should be it now the next thing we need is a uh, disabling our uh, input field and let's do that by saying message input field dot game object dot set active and false and the next thing is event system let's import this dot current dot set selected game object for the null and what this mean is that we remove the uh, the focus from our messages input field now if it is not active we need to set the focus on it so we can take this and then activate our game object and then give it message input field dot game object and this will just focus on the input field and therefore we can write stuff and uh, this should be it for now and let's try it out let's go to the messaging system let's take the message template and the input field 
and the messages container which is content and let's try our game we should always remember that we should start from the setup scene and here we go yeah we forgot to set this lobby set the right ui here we go so let's start and here we go let's start the host and yeah and let's start okay here we go it's working nicely we need to empty this input field after we press enter so let's go back here and let's say here message input field dot text is equal to empty text and this should be done here we go now the next thing we need is adding this message into the box and we can do that by having this event which is on steam it will be uh, let's first of all import using steamworks and here we say steam matchmaking dot on chat message plus equal chat let's say uh, let's call it sent and what this means is every time this sent chat string to this lobby occurs this event will be activated after and it will be having the chat string that was sent and let's call it here message and here friend and here let's call it lobby and there we go here we need to add the message that we received from the lobby to the text box and the way we do that is very simple let's say add message to box for the message and this we can generate this method here game object and at this way we can be like game object message is equal to instantiate and we need to instantiate a message template message template and we need to set the parent to the container so messages container and messages container here dot transform and here we go this should be done now i want to do something on start method start which is making this input field like empty string because it is saying hello youtube so here we can be like message template dot text is equal to empty string and here we go so here what we need is to get the this uh, text mesh pro and assign the content of it to this message and let's say message dot get component text mesh pro udid dot text is equal to the message and here we added this to the chat box that's fairly simple now let's test it out that and here we go let's start the host and yeah let's say okay here we go here we go and it is sending now the next thing i need to is adding the player name before it so let's do that by here let's saying what we want to send is friend dot name plus and let's give it a spay or like like this and the plus message and this should work let's go let's test it out and let's start the host and hello team and here we go cubat hello team i entered and here we go it is working nicely now i want to add more functionality for it which is when let's say for example a player entered a player a player left i need to to add more text to it so we can do that by adding more events here so we can say steam matchmaking dot on lobby entered let's say plus equal lobby entered 
okay and this should be easy and let's auto regenerate it and here we go we take the lobby that we entered and we can say add message to box and we can be like you entered the lobby i'll make this function anonymous so it's equal and here we go it's more pretty uh, let's for example take the steam matchmaking dot on lobby member joined plus equal lobby member joined also do steam matchmaking matchmaking dot on lobby member leave plus equal lobby member left leave let's call it and this is all on enable let's unsubscribe from those methods and here we go let's regenerate those two methods okay here we go doesn't matter so here on lobby member left we can be like add message to box add message to box for the let's say let's call it friend and here we can be like friend.name plus left the lobby and that's it now we need this let's take it here let's make it like this and add message to box for the let's say friend that's oh, friend and here well, let's say lobby here let's say lobby and here we say friend dot name plus join the lobby um, this should be easy now let's test it out and here we finished building our game let's test it out with someone else and let's start our host and here we go let's start inviting someone to our game so you can see that we can invite to our lobby so let's invite them and here we go yusuf joined the lobby so let me send the message from my laptop hello youtube and here we go it is working very nicely hello back yeah it's working